What's up and welcome back to the channel. The name is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell up above for future uploads. Thank you. So after the video that I've done about Mayo player Aidan O'Shea sucker punching Dublin player Philly McMahon, there has been a wild storm on social media and in the comments section of this video. So the aim of this video is to show how out of control people are and also how the media have whipped up these individuals. And again, there's an awful lot of individuals with lukewarm IQs that decide to comment on this story, even though it's very apparent as to what happens with three men assaulting one individual. If what happened in this video that I've shown happened on the street or in a nightclub or a pub, these people would be arrested, they would be brought to court. But because it happens in a tunnel of Croke Park and because it's against a Dublin player, it's seemingly okay to do what they did. So let's take a look at some of the comments from some of these uneducated individuals and let's have a laugh. So we have Luke Tuomi here who says, Lad, I've never seen someone as biased towards their own county. That's because you haven't seen anybody on RTE that's allowed to say what they want to say. The last person that was on RTE that said what he wanted to say was Joe Broly. And anybody that's there, particularly from a Dublin point of view, have to obviously toe the line rather than actually tell the truth as to what goes on. Even Dublin people saying he provoked the male players. Okay, where is your reference? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about general individuals online? If so, quote them, let me know and show your references, back them up there with that one there, because that's absolute nonsense what you're talking about. There's no serious, credible individual that's coming out and saying that the Philly deserved what he got. That's wrong. Eddie Grork says, is this a piss take? Absolutely nothing going on there, Philly. Clearly provoked the Mayo players. What did he expect? So because you've said a few words to someone, that gives them the entitlement then to hit you. That gives them the entitlement to gang up on you. Let's ask you this question, Eddie. If this was roles reversed, would you feel the same way? Absolutely not. And if you tried to say otherwise, that is an absolute spoof. It's an absolute lie because you are just baying for Dublin blood. You're telling me that because Philly said some words, which we'll get to in a few moments, because from what I've heard, it's pretty funny. And I will tell you what I've heard. But again, you'll have to take it with a grain of salt because if it's true or not, we'll have to wait and see. You're saying to me that saying a couple of words to somebody else encourages three individuals then to gang up on you strangle you push you up against the wall and for one individual then to punch you in the back of the head while you're not looking i don't think so you've got shane here that says no no doubt philly deserve it just a pity they didn't deck him this is comments coming from individuals that probably never stepped across the line in their life to play a game of football these people here have no understanding of what it's like to be a man clearly because you do not punch people in the back of the head that is cowardly stuff but these people are all for it they don't see an issue in it whatsoever and this is what i'm saying to you this is what the media have done to these people and we will see one very prominent fella who decided to say something to philly and it's just unbelievable stuff really you have got this guy here if philly kept his mouth shut he wouldn't have got struck so instead of being able to wind up opponents and get in their heads, which Philly obviously did because in the second half Mayo fell apart, you get to see then this type of comment there. Yeah, keep keep saying nothing to them. No, Dublin players have had enough now at this stage and I'm delighted that Philly said something to them and wound them up because at this point in time, the stuff that people are led away with from other counties is unbelievable. You've had Lee Keegan throwing GPSs. You've had the likes of Aidan O'Shea that's punched two individuals in the same game, punched one man on the pitch, in the back of the head and the referee didn't send him off the referee should have sent him off for the half time scuffle like i'm saying if you're going to be consistent be consistent if this was a dublin player on the other end of this they would want him sent off they would want him never to play again and i have to say if it was a dublin player that was punching someone in the back of the head it would be the same i'd say right that's not right he should have been sent off for that but it's unbelievable stuff that these people want to keep going with you have mcmahon went after a fight obviously not <laughs> he's taken the mick out of some agents and they decided to rise to it and then tried to gang up on him like cowards but again it's it is male football that you're dealing with so what do you expect you know these guys are infamous for choking and yet they decided to choke mcmahon <laughs> winding up the leading all ireland top scorer he was jealous of o'connor's success as a top footballer who wouldn't be I mean, these are the type of statements that are being made, and this fella is absolutely serious, and I hope he's not serious, to be honest with you, but these type of statements are absolutely serious, and they believe this sort of stuff. This is pure gaslighting. These people have been told this lie so much that they actually believe it. How could somebody like O'Connor be successful when Philly has all the medals? What are you talking about? <laughs> Podrick Wells says, 
McMahon having a laugh. You mean he provoked the Mayo lads. You're the one that's having a laugh. I absolutely am, Podrick. I'm absolutely having a laugh because some of the comments that I've seen here have been absolute crackers and it's been very, very funny. I've had a good laugh at these ones now, I have to say. But uh, it's still, again, it's still okay for you to do what they did. Put a fellow up against the wall by the neck and then punch him from behind. I wish you from you. This one now gave me the biggest laugh now of all, I have to say. And it comes from Long John Teabag. Look at the amount of likes that are on as well, too. Look at the salty individuals that have liked all this nonsense. <laughs> he says, I'd say you're not from Dublin yourself. Anyways, good man. Uh, obviously, I'm from Dublin. I mean, it couldn't be any more Dublin than I am. This is the funniest thing about it. It's great crack. The most biased video I have ever seen. No way. Because, do you know what? Do you know why it's biased? Because I'm from Dublin. And I'm also going to say what I think. I'm not going to sugarcoat it like RTE or Off The Ball or Sports Joe do for you people. They like to bring in these individuals and have this narrative set up that people won't tell the truth or they will tell half-truths. I'm going to tell you the full truth. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. And I'm also going to give my opinion on it. That is pure and utter cowardice from the likes of Aidan O'Shea. Obviously, Philly started it. Keith wouldn't go for him out of the blue for no reason. Who are you going to believe started it? Like I said, again... He's decided to strike McMahon. McMahon has only said a couple of words. And look at this nonsense that you get to see here. This is the, I know his, his uncle and I know his cousin and this type of nonsense that you get to see. A quiet lad from Ballyhounis who rarely steps out of line or a cheeky this. Now, I mean, that's a, a racist term now at the moment, funnily enough. So this guy is an absolute moron. From Ballymun, who is known for this type of behaviour. So this is an SJW red flag. You know that this type of stuff is a red flag. Who is known. They use phrases like this because they can't back it up with any real examples or anything like that. So he decides to say it's a quiet lad versus a guy that's known for behaviour. Okay, if you want to take that into account. Why then is the quiet guy stepping out of his line? I'm sure that he's probably done this sort of stuff if he can hack it back down where he's from. Because when you go back to where you're from... When you've lost games like this, you're going to get many a comment towards you. You're going to get many a comment that's not going to be favourable towards you. You're going to have comments like mine that call the likes of these guys absolute chokers, which they are. And does that entitle them then to strike me? Absolutely not. You have to defend your point here and not come from behind at an individual. Not like a man. Because that's what Aidan O'Shea has decided to do. He's not come at Philly McMahon like a man. And that's just the bounds of what I was talking about. So this type of nonsense here, this absolute bias, I mean, this is the funniest thing that they're talking about, the most biased video I've ever seen, and then this moron then says underneath, a quiet lad from Ballyhounis, we're going to believe, Keith, this is unbelievable stuff. You want to take a look at some of the stuff that people get up to up in Dublin when they come from other counties and they're living up here on their own. I know plenty of stories about people that come up to Dublin and go absolutely mental up here and cause absolute carnage, but then it all gets hidden then, doesn't it? You have individuals that are in certain professions and stuff that are causing mayhem when they're in college and then when they get into these professions then it's like, oh, forget about what they've done then. It's funny how that works, isn't it? A lot of these people as well too, when you see commenting online, they have been whipped up by the media and you see comments like this and this is what I'm going to talk about as well in this video. So after the laughable comments that's been made on the YouTube video, which I've gotten a great laugh out, you've got this sort of stuff that's been posted and it's not only been posted, but it's been posted directly at Philly McMahon. And I have to say, this is absolutely woeful stuff. And this guy should absolutely be ashamed of himself. He says, hey, Philly McMahon, how's your brother? Yeah, enjoy your shooting up tonight. I mean, what sort of nonsense is that? Anybody that's anybody that knows anything about the GAA is that Philly McMahon's brother unfortunately passed away. And to attack his brother like this and to attack Philly McMahon like this is nothing short of disgusting. And this is coming from the same people now that would be critical of the video that I posted. This is coming from the same people that are saying you shouldn't be saying any of this. Guess what? I'm going to keep saying these things because I'm going to keep outing this type of nonsense. I'm going to keep outing this type of behaviour because I'm not standing for it. It's been too long now as a Dublin fan that we've stood idly by and let this sort of nonsense be tarnished. Look at what they're saying about the Smalls as well too recently. They're the next target. When Fiddy goes, the Smalls are the next target. Believe you and me. They wanted to target Dermot Connolly as well too. They're targeting Jack McCaffrey as well too. Some of the comments I've seen online that have surrounded Jack McCaffrey are absolutely deplorable. So this is the type of stuff you're getting to see. But this guy obviously isn't too smart. And in 2018, says this. 
Would love to sit down for a coffee with Philly McMahon. Very interesting fella and serious inspiration for young people all over the country from what he's gone through and achieved the hardest hit. So this was a documentary that was posted and I was talking about Philly growing up and the various different struggles that he had in the area that he had and how he has progressed on to doing what he's doing. I mean, that's from 2018 and then this is from the all Ireland final day. I mean, this is incredible stuff. I, I can't believe people have been whipped up by the media this badly. Now, does it surprise me? No, because a lot of people were in Ireland and were in the world have a lukewarm IQ. And it doesn't surprise me to see that people are so easily whipped up by the media and are on this anti-Dublin bandwagon. I really don't get it. An awful lot of these people come li to live and work in Dublin and go to college in Dublin, yet they seem to have a, an awful problem with Dublin. And I think it's very strange because if it was me... I wouldn't go somewhere I didn't like, and I also wouldn't work somewhere I didn't like. So anyway, I'm just going to have a brief look here now through this, and this is Philly McMahon's halftime talk. Everyone needs a halftime talk. Philly McMahon, Dublin footballer and founder of Halftime Talk. So what's this about? Well, Philly's story is, growing up, Philly's community was exposed to high levels of unemployment and drug use. For Philly, sport was a diversion, and it provided a framework of positive reinforcement. His brother John was not so lucky. He became a heroin addict. Philly believes he had drug awareness education. He would have known better to treat John in the way he deserved. I mean, that is absolutely heartbreaking when you look at it in itself, because he is looking to have a way for him. How could he have coped, or how could he have helped out his brother? in the situation that he was in and when you see comments like we've just seen here i mean that even angers me even more because you're saying to yourself these people all know this guy's story and if they don't know this guy's story i hope they take a look at this video and realize the type of individual that philly is and the type of work that he puts in to these communities our mission using the frameworks of sport and business we will provide programs and support for youth that will reinforce the self-belief that they have a right and potential to be the best that they can be wonderful mission their vision our vision is to nurture self-belief in the youth of our communities by fostering empowerment leadership and high performance so again it's something that the dublin team are all about high performance how it works each of the 14 participants on the 16 week program will be assigned their very own mentor participants will be led down a suitable pathway whether it be education and apprenticeship work placement or general life skills and this is the type of guy that's absolutely been slaughtered in the media and slaughtered in comments this is fantastic stuff. I mean, this man should absolutely take a bow. This guy has done wonderful work. The participants will engage with employers and will be given support and guidance in seeking out their own employment opportunities. A success story. Lisa Keenan participated in a previous charity initiative designed by Philly, which involved participants from Ballymun. When you don't have a path or a goal, it's so frightening. I didn't know where I was going. I got a place on the course. Did two years in college. I realized I'm able to do stuff that I never thought I would be. Engage, educate, empower. Halftime Talk is a charitable movement set up by five-time All-Ireland winning Dublin footballer and Ballymun native Philly McMahon. You might want to update that, lads. He's on eight now, so that's wonderful stuff for Philly. Our aim is to educate, train and empower young, unemployed adults and communities all over Ireland to help them unlock their potential. So it's not even just a Dublin point of view. It's all over Ireland. And this is what Philly McMahon has done. So some of the people that have made ridiculous comments towards him and uneducated comments towards him, take a look at this and look at the work that he's doing, not just in Dublin, but all over Ireland. And you really have to take a bow in terms of, Philly McMahon has to take a bow in terms of what he's been doing. And I think you really need to applaud him for what he's been doing. Now one other comment that was on YouTube that didn't get highlighted either, that was sent towards my direction, was this one. And we're going to have a bit of a laugh at this one as well too, because again... This is the narrative that's been driven in by these individuals. It's been driven in by the media and it's very petty. So I said, I've triggered so many people with this video, video say it without crying, up the dubs. So an awful lot of these people, I'm sure, where tears were flowing down their cheeks and they were absolutely enraged by the fact that I was telling them the truth. And you have Quivin Donnelly says that, says, fuck off, you, you junkie. See you next Tuesday. And I have to say, it's better comments like this that make it worth it. It makes it worth it in terms of having a laugh because these people really, really did give me a laugh. And I have to say, I can only imagine the comments that are going to be underneath this one because the Streisand effect does take place. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I'm going to tell you what I've heard that Philly has said towards the Mayo players in the tunnel. 
Now again, take this with a grain of salt. This is a rumor, and you will have an awful lot of uh, lukewarm IQs down below that would say, "Well, he said on on the panel that it was actually they said that uh, he said that the Mayo players asked if May if uh, Owen Morton could be a, 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 a elf on the shelf." You'll get an awful lot of lukewarm IQs that'll say that. That's not what he said, from what I've heard. And um, from what I've heard, and again, if Philly wants to have a chat with me, and that that's absolutely no problem to 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 clear it up or anything like that but from what I've, I've heard is he said to them I hope you've brought your nappies lads because you usually shit yourselves in the second half <laughs> <laughs> I have to say if he said that that's absolutely class but here's the thing if that's all he said then that still doesn't give anybody any right to go and attack him the way they did now I'm going to tell you another story of another story that I do know about and people now, this would be showing you now the hypocriticalness and the bitterness from some individuals. I can only imagine how the comments on this one. But not too long ago, when Dublin played Tyrone, there was a player that played for Dublin. I'm not going to say who, but he was playing up front anyway. And he was being marked by Roy McMenamin. Now, Roy McMenamin, on his arm, had written this player's girlfriend's number. And you will see people up and down the country that are not from Dublin think that this is absolutely hilarious, that this is great. But you know what the Dublin player did? Didn't strike him. He didn't attack him. Just laughed it off. That was it. So you'll see these people now that will say, oh yeah, they were absolutely right to do what they did because Philly said uh, they shit themselves and they, they should be wearing nappies. But yet now you will have people that say, well, Roy McMenamin was bang on and that's great, you know, fair play, Roy. Because this is the type of warped individuals that you have because they've been warped by the media. Again, like I said, lukewarm IQs from these individuals. And it is sad to see, but again, when you look at the running of the country, it's no surprise to see who you see running it because these people are out there. <laughs> Very much so. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. I've had a good laugh at this one. I hope this video brought you a little bit more knowledge about who Finley McMahon is. It shows you again that the Mayo players, Mayo supporters can't handle the banter. And they decide to get physical rather than, you know, pull up their big boy pants and actually get out there in the second half and perform. Now they're just going to try and make excuses. And these people are trying to make excuses for them and trying to encourage physical assault of a Dublin player particularly when the Dublin player wasn't actually looking. So, pure cowardice again, and tuggery, in my opinion. You have the likes of O'Shea McConville that says, yeah, rattled him. I mean, O'Shea McConville was an RMR player. They were widely known as well, too, in terms of coming down Jordan games and just engaging in brawls rather than actually engaging in games of football. It was horrible stuff to watch, and that's the sort of stuff that RMR were up to. And that is something that O'Shea McConville on the panel is advocating for against Dublin players total nonsense anyway i'm gonna leave the video there make sure you like the video share the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell if you didn't like the video make sure you hit that thumbs down because again it's like destroyers on effect only helps me out i'm delighted to see it i'm delighted to see as many bitter individuals as i do it's always going to be the way look i'm not going to cop myself when you have 31 counties against one <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say there has been a couple of people within the comments that are from other counties that have been very fair and they have been very nice as well too and they've been very much so positive in their comments and I have to say that's brilliant to see and you know credit to them people you know you are representing your county and I have to say an awful lot of Mayo supporters that are within the comments here have come across as very bitter and entitled. It's sad to see because you know it's a good football team. They are a good football team. They are a tough football team. And it's a pity that stuff like this lets them down. And then supporters of them then lets them down. I don't think anybody would begrudge certain counties if they were to win the All-Ireland. But I think an awful lot of other counties, particularly now, maybe being from Dublin, I would certainly begrudge uh, Mayo winning the All-Ireland. Just because of the despicable behaviour from some of their, their fans and their players as well too, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. Look, 